It was a 40-minute walk from my place to the sculpture in Park Waldfrieden. As I continued up a hill toward a heavily wooded area, the noise from barmen's residences and traffic gradually faded. The dense, towering trees were welcoming, providing shade along the driveway. My mind drifted into the wilderness's quiet, and it felt as though the branches were wooden arms embracing me into their world. The workweek slipped into the farthest corners of my mind as I focused on the present moment. The park's gate was massive, reminding me of a fairy tale, a knight approaching the drawbridge of a castle. As I entered it felt like I was stepping into a new world of dryads, the ladies of the trees, and the park expanded 14 hectares, which was built between 1947 and 1950. Kurt Herbert's commissioned artist and architect Franz Krauser to rebuild a house from 1894 that was destroyed during an air raid on Barman in 1943. Herbert's requested an unconventional design and granted Krauser free reign, which led the architect to develop an organic form based on three dynamic factors, the movements of the human body, the nature of the surrounding terrain, and the incoming light. The two-story house, along with the landscaping and garden design, was completed between 1947 and 1950. Thomas Schutte's Man with Flag is a new addition to the Walt Frieden Sculpture Park in Wuppertal. The monumental bronze sculpture, created in 2018 and standing 5.30 meters tall, has been installed in the Tony Cragg Sculpture Park Walled Freedom. Shuti has generously provided the piece as a permanent loan to the park. Tony Cragg Sculpture Distant Cousin represents an organic, flowing form giving it a sense of fluidity and movement, as if it's in a state of continuous transformation. The highly reflective surface allows the piece to blend with its natural surroundings, mirroring the trees and environment around it, which creates a dynamic interaction between the sculpture and its setting. His motive behind such a creation might be to explore the relationship between natural and man-made forms, emphasizing the interconnectedness between art, nature, and perception. By using reflective surfaces and abstract, organic shapes, the artist likely aims to engage viewers in a deeper contemplation of how we perceive space and the objects within it, inviting them to see the environment and the art as a unified whole. Mariana W.S. World is a captivating sculpture by Spanish artist Joan Plenza, located in the Sculpture and Park Waldfrieden in Barmen, Germany. Created in 2016, this large-scale sculpture depicts a serene, elongated female head, rendered in Plenza's signature mesh style that blends figuration with transparency. The artwork conveys a sense of contemplation and introspection, inviting viewers to reflect on the inner world and the universal human experience. Plenza's focus on the interplay between form, light, and space creates a powerful visual and emotional impact making Mariana W.S. World a standout piece in the park's collection. Sir Anthony Douglas Cragg, an Anglo-German sculptor, has been residing in Wuppertal, Germany, since 1977. His sculptures explore the relationship between natural forms and industrial materials. Cragg's works often feature intricate, organic shapes that challenge perceptions of space and form, blending fluidity with structural complexity. Through his innovative use of materials, the sculptures evoke a sense of movement and transformation, making his pieces both visually striking and thought-provoking. Connecting with nature and appreciating the arts are both essential for my well-being, offering a much-needed break from the demands of daily life. Even though I work from a home office, the environment can still become mundane. On my days off, immersing myself in nature and the arts grounds me, reduces stress, and sparks creativity, helping me feel more balanced and rejuvenated. 
Whether it's a walk in the woods here in Germany, visiting a sculpture park, gardening, or simply observing the natural world, like watching the sunrise at St. Petersburg, Florida, Horizon, these moments of connection remind me of my place in the larger ecosystem and the beauty of human expression, fostering a deep sense of peace, clarity, and inspiration. Marcus Lupert's sculpture, Paris, is a striking work that embodies his signature style, blending classical themes with a modern, abstract approach. The piece typically features bold, exaggerated forms, often representing the human figure in a stylized manner. Lupert's Paris likely draws inspiration from mythology or history, reinterpreted through a contemporary lens. The sculpture's dynamic lines and textured surfaces invite viewers to explore the tension between tradition and innovation, reflecting Lupert's exploration of the human condition and artistic expression. Andreas Schmitten's Intangibles, 2021, explores the concept of the unseen and the ephemeral in art. His intention with this work is to challenge the viewer's perception of reality by creating forms that are both abstract and ambiguous, evoking a sense of mystery and introspection. Intangibles is characterized by its meticulous craftsmanship and a delicate balance between form and void, inviting viewers to contemplate the spaces between what is tangible and what is beyond our grasp. Through this piece, Schmitten aims to provoke thought about the nature of existence, the fleetingness of life, and the intangible aspects of human experience. Standing before Bata Fisher's Changaliron, I felt a profound sense of being engulfed by its massive, ethereal beauty. The delicate, iridescent forms seemed to float weightlessly in the air, capturing and reflecting the light in a dance of colors that transported me into another world, a realm of fantasy and dreams. As I gazed at the sculpture, I felt as if I were being lifted from the ground, carried away by the fluidity and grace of the piece, into a space where imagination reigns. Fisher's intention in creating Changaliron likely revolves around the idea of transcending the ordinary, inviting viewers to explore the boundaries between the tangible and the intangible. The sculpture's airy, almost otherworldly presence blurs the lines between reality and fantasy, encouraging a sense of wonder and contemplation. Through this work, Fisher may be interpreting the beauty of light and movement, encapsulating a fleeting moment of grace and inviting us to lose ourselves in its captivating form. Misha Kubel's Diverse Materialian explores the relationship between light, materials, and perception. By manipulating light and shadow, Kubel invites us to see materials in a new way, emphasizing their importance in both art and daily life. The piece encourages viewers to reflect on the connections between light, space, and the diversity of materials that shape our world. In just a minute, this work sparks deep contemplation on how we perceive and interact with our environment. As the afternoon light began to soften, casting gentle shadows among the sculptures, I took a slow, reflective walk through the garden, each step a quiet goodbye. The warmth of the day lingered in the air, mingling with the whispers of art and nature. With a heart full of contentment, I paused for a final glance at the masterpieces, their forms bathed in the golden glow of the afternoon sun. In this peaceful moment, the beauty of the day settled within me, leaving a sense of calm, a perfect conclusion to an afternoon where the world felt distant, and everything was touched by a hint of wonder.